is good. La comida es rica. I like to eat it. Me gusta comerla. I like fruit. Me gusta la fruta. I like fruit. Me gusta la fruta. The apples. Las manzanas. The apples. Las manzanas. The bananas. Las bananas. The bananas. Las bananas. The oranges. Las naranjas. The oranges. Las naranjas. Okay, now I'm going to uh, I'm going to be mixing up. Right there is uh, four cups of all-purpose flour. I'm going to be making uh, several dishes from the very same uh, concoction here, the same ingredients, uh, because these are the same ingredients that you're going to use to make uh, whether it's sopapillas. Fry bread, uh, Navajo taco, uh, even my Mexican pizza. So, four cups of flour. I'm, uh, it's, it's a lot more than uh, perhaps you might want to use. I'm going to use uh, two tablespoons for these four cups of baking powder. One tablespoon of salt. That's to, to four cups of flour now. I'm going to use two tablespoons of sugar. And two tablespoons of honey. I'm going to put that in a little bit here. Also, I'll be using cold milk. You want to use cold milk because you want this uh, the texture here to be like uh, something like pie dough. Okay. I don't know if I'm going to use the entire two cups of uh, cold milk, but I've got two cups out. Okay, here goes my honey. The honey is going to, along with that sugar, is going to add a little caramelization to the uh, to the bread. No oil, no shortening. Okay. There's about a cup right there. The reason for the milk is uh, it makes your um, fry bread softer. The reason I'm not putting oil in it, which would of course make it softer, is because I'm, I am going to be deep frying it. Okay, it's a little bit sticky. That's okay for now. Now I'm going to cover this and let it rest for about 30 minutes. Okay, I've put this in uh, on top of floured surface, lightly floured surface. And I'm just going to give it a couple of quick rolls. Okay. See the texture looks a little uh, coarse. That's all right, right there. Now just cover it up. Let it set for 30 minutes. Okay, the dough is rested. Now I'm taking a piece this big from it. And I'll, I'm going to make, show you the sopapilla method here. We're going to roll this out. And uh, we're not going to roll it out too thin. It's getting easier to work with. 
Okay. Now, to make a typical traditional sopapilla, you just uh, cut the slices like this. We're going to cut the ends off here. And here. Okay, and then right down the middle. This will give us six sopapillas. Meanwhile, your oil should be heating up 250 degrees at the maximum. Much higher than that, and you're going to start to burn everything. See how they puff up right away? Flip them over when they get a brown on the edges. And then I'm going to put these on a um, on paper towels to blot them. So the excess oil is uh, blotted that up. Okay, that's ready to go. There's uh, two more. Okay, now I've gotten a piece of dough about the same size. Do the same thing here. What I'm going to do with this one is I'm going to roll it out a little bit in a circle, not too thin. Then I'm going to stretch it out with my hand. This just gets me started right here. A, uh, I'm making uh, a fry bread now. Okay, so now just stretch it out with your fingers. If you're an expert at the old flip-flop, well, you go right ahead and do that. You can also just stretch it out like this. Notice how thick the, the uh, dough still is. Okay. If you're an expert in the other way, go right ahead and do it. I'm not. But uh, I'm stretching it out anyway. Meanwhile, The oil is uh, hot. Now, I'm, you're going to see me put a hole in the center of this. By the way, you notice this isn't uh, particularly exactly round. That's okay. See that? That's all right. Okay. Now, 
I'm putting a hole in the center here. This is uh, the uh, Indian fry bread. The reason for the hole in the center is so that this area in here will cook as well. Okay, here's a hole in the center. Just be careful how you lay this in there. You don't want to burn yourself. Now here, lift it up slightly, but you're going to turn this over when you get uh, the edges look brown, okay? See how it bubbles up? I do this so that it'll some of that oil will go in the in the center, but that's okay. I'm going to be flipping it over. Okay, it's ready to flip. Okay. ready to go. See that? Doesn't that look beautiful? Now this, you stand on its, a little bit on its side, on, its, on an edge there. And that's uh, an Indian fry bread there. Okay, here we have uh, sofai pias uh, waiting for you now. Just you put them, you open them up, drop some honey in them. Here's uh, some, an Indian fry bread. We call that uh, Navajo fry bread here. It's just fried bread. Uh, it's made the same way in different parts of the world. <laughs> Ay, que bueno, señor vecino. is good. La comida es rica. I like to eat it. Me gusta comerla. I like fruit. Me gusta la fruta. I like fruit. Me gusta la fruta.